My name is Alfonso Aceves. I am one part of Caliarte. I'm a printmaker, muralist, and a father. My name is Adriana. I am also part of Caliarte Collective, and we consider ourselves the family art collective. You know, we're husband and wife, and also our kids are involved with any projects that we have. If you look at the Aztec calendar, the sun is in the center. Around the sun is 20 days. Kali is the third day, which is representative of home, family, and community. Part of our creativity first began with having our kids. You know, we were, we were just little kids trying to figure things out. And then we were little kids having babies kind of led us to become adults very quickly and understand that uh, there's something inside of us that wants to speak, you know, because we have this responsibility to our children. We want to like, make sure that they grow up in an environment that pushes forward, not just our voice, but their voice as well. Because our studio was here in our apartment, you know, when they were little, they were just surrounded by art. Now that they're adults, they're involved with any mural projects that we have. And not because we wanted them to, it's that that's just what they want to do. Finding true love and understanding what it means to be loved and how to like reciprocate that love is uh, led us down this pathway to being artists. In July, Alfonso received a phone call. They want us to do a mural at Roosevelt High School. And that's the place that Alfonso and I met. 30 years ago, almost. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too often you get that full circle moment, like where you could really go back and like heal some open wounds that have been there. And you know, when we went, when we went to Roosevelt, it was kind of like, we felt a bit dismissed as far as like being young parents. We got pregnant and and we had to make those choices. And us being able to go back and share our stories with these students. Every Friday, we would invite the students over to help us paint. We took advantage of those, those times and, and really talked to the students and let them know that not everybody gets out of college and like does this, these grand things, you know, like it takes a while, like, you know, just moving at your own pace. And because that's what worked for us, like making sure that we understood our own pace to get to this point, which was a lot to paint that mural. You know, having four kids and having to pay rent, being a full-time artist, like a lot of times that doesn't work out. We were kind of uh, blessed with this space that was under rent control that kind of led us to have those opportunities to say, well, maybe we can explore these ideas of artwork. Maybe we can be artists. Maybe we can look at things because we're not living with this high overhead. So in 2014, they were trying to redevelop this place. They were trying to knock everything down there's 1,200 apartment units here. You know, you don't have like a family of six, you have a family of 13. We knew that the displacement was gonna be displacement of thousands and thousands of people. You know, during that moment, it was like a fire was lit within us as artists. Like, how can we communicate what's happening through art? You know, a lot of my neighbors have, have known me since I was a baby. So we did portraits of not only our children, but also of our neighbors, just to bring that story, that narrative of what this space is and what it means to us. The shutdown happened in 2020. We were fortunate enough that all of my family could be present within the same space, this little apartment that we've had for so long. You know, we raised all our kids here. And during that time, it gave us that opportunity to, to be together 
and uh, just be creative with each other. You know, like one night we were just together and I was like, let's do a new family portrait. We sat here in this living room and took, I don't know, like over a hundred different photos. Somebody was smiling wrong, somebody was looking wrong. It was just uh, a lot of uh, trial and error. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to do a print of the photos and see if they like it. If they didn't like it, then I wasn't gonna put it out or anything like that. But as I was creating the image, I was thinking like, there's like a real connection right now because we're here within this time. And you know, there's a lot of, a lot of these families who are suffering being separated. And I really wanted to show within that print that, that we were together. Like, I just wanted to honor that idea of us being connected in the space, being connected to each other. Through, through our hearts, through our minds, and surrounded by these different images that make us who we are. Yes, we had portraits of ourselves, but the visibility of not just ourselves, but like our history, you know, our mothers, our families. You know, like I, I, I saw myself, but it wasn't really myself. Like I felt like I represented so much more within that portrait and that really inspired me to be okay with that. Like, okay, I think we're ready to have our moment, you know, <laughs> to have this moment together. Putting our face within a print was, was a big deal for us. And it was a big debate, just kind of talking back and forth. But coming out of that time, we felt that it was important that we allow people to see us in, in that light and, and understand like what has made us the artists we are today, like what contributes to that. And it's that idea of, you know, we have this home, we have this space that's been able to, for us to become those observers and look out and like uh, view the world in different ways. And then the extension of that is, it becomes our community, our family, all these people that contribute to that. And then finally, it's, you know, it's, it's us too, the, the love that we have for each other and, and how we want that to be shared and, and, and represented. <laughs>